what you see before you is a broken man, a spent shell, an empty plate, a man who once had it all, hopes, aspirations, the whole nine yards, and now he's got nothing, and he is nothing. After all, what is a man defined by, if not by his actions and his friends? Well, I'll tell you what, I, Joey Canzetti, was defined by once all those many hours ago. Me and my best friend Lenny spend much of our time right here at the bench. Not just any bench, it was THE bench. Yeah, there were a few others around the roundabout, but none in the optimal position like this one. Optimal position for what, you may ask? The optimal position for benching, of course. The rules of benching are simple. Wait until a car is approaching the bench. Try to get them to honk. The one who gets the most honks that day, wins. And just like a fine wine, it paired nicely with some pizza from Tony Pepperoni's. We used to both buy our own slices, but in recent months, Lenny's family hit some hard times, so I'd buy his slices for him. <laughs> good old Lenny. We've been benching for a good couple years at this point, always right after school. Though today, it seemed like he had to get something off his chest. Listen, Joey, I gotta get something off my chest. As you know, my family needs a little extra dough, you know? A little sauce, a little extra cheddar. Yeah, like some pepperoni. Nah, I don't like pepperoni. Yeah, me neither. What were you saying? My pops told me I gotta start pulling my own weight, so I got a job starting tomorrow. <laughs> hey, yo, big time over here. Where are you working? I'm working for the Parks and Rec Department. Only thing is... Parks and Rec? Like the show? No, like the department. Thing is, Joey, I'm working right after school now. Can't bench with you no more. What? You're not gonna bench with me no more? What, what am I gonna do? I don't know, man. But for the foreseeable future, you won't be benching no more. I don't need. I don't even know what to say. And uh. listen, ma'am, I gotta go. I'll see you around. The next day, the unspeakable happened. I tried to talk to Lenny after school about it, but he could hardly look at me and said he had to go to work. Lenny! Lenny! Lenny, come on! I gotta go to work, man. I gotta go to work. Lenny, come on! Lenny, come on! Poor guy. Lenny, why are you doing this? I think he couldn't stand to be reminded of the bench. It was just too painful. Don't worry, Len! I'm gonna get to the bottom of this! I think Lenny might have dropped this. Hmm. Local bench destroyed by impaired driver? Suspect is Luigi Faconomy? Heh, <laughs> those Italians, am I right? Wait a minute. Luigi fake name? Just as I suspected. A ruse. A cover-up. But who? What? When? Where? Why? I had to know. So I decided to do some snooping. Our suspects are the four corners as we used to call them. First we got the church, then the bank, then Tony Pepperonis, and then finally the school. Worse yet, they all have a motive. They all hated the constant hawking that would occur from our benching. 
They asked us to stop, but they couldn't really do much. Legally, that is. I searched and I searched. But nothing came up. I was just about to throw in the towel when... Pepperoni. Nah, I don't like pepperoni. Yeah, me neither. What were you saying? Something's fishy about this. I think Tony Pepperoni is in on this cruel joke. I better pay him a visit. Tony Pepperoni. That greasy rat's been selling us pizza for years. Well, I'ma finally give him something to chew on. Why'd I find that there near the bench? Ah, Mr. Canzetti. I seen you got my message. I've been meaning to talk to you about this bench situation of ours. Ours? What do you mean, situation of ours? Cut to the chase, Tony. Hey, hey, Joey. Come on, not the meatballs. We're on the same side here. These benches, they're good for business. People come in, they get a slice, they go bench. Especially you and your little buddy there. So yeah, it is our problem. Okay, whatever, man. What's the deal with the bench? You're a man who knows what his time is worth. I like that. Listen, Kanzetti. I've been seeing you snooping around here looking for clues. I would have done the same myself. But as you can see, I'm not as spry as I once was. <laughs> However, there was some information told to me by a little birdie that could help us with our situation here. Spill it, Pepperoni. I ain't got all day. Well, just if the benches are good for my business, they're bad for the others. You see, the honk drives away clients from the bank, students from the school, and worshippers from the church. So the three corners decided to band together and, well, uh, off your bench. I knew that newspaper was phony, but how much did they pay the driver? Joey, there never was a driver. I mean, come on, Luigi fake name? You gotta be stupid to believe that. You kidding me? The three corners paid the Parks and Rec department a lot of bread to remove the bench and make it look like it was hit by a car. Parks and Rec. I got a buddy down there. Should ask him about this. Oh my god, look over there! What? What are you talking about? What? Godspeed, Kanzetti. Joey, what the hell are you doing here? What are you wearing? I'm saving our friendship, Len. Listen, I got a big lead on the case. Big lead? What are you talking about, Joey? I was told by Tony Pepperoni that the Parks and Rec Department destroyed the bench in a huge cover-up scheme. And get this, it was paid for by the three other corners because they hated our benching. Now, I don't fully trust that greasy bastard, but it's the only lead I got. And I'm here asking you to be my man on the inside. Listen, I'm flattered, Joey, but read the paper, man. An impaired driver hit the bench that night. Bing, bam, boom, just like that. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I never said you did. Lenny, what do you know about this? Don't, why don't you want to see justice carried out? We're in the right here. Justice? Joey, these people don't care about justice. They care about money. I know someone like you wouldn't understand that, but someone like me does. I know someone who loves justice, and his name is the police. And he's going to feast on this fucking case. Everyone was sick of our benching. You got to sit down and forget about it, Joey. Sit down? Sit down on what bench, you stupid bastard? Go home, Joe. Tell me you didn't do it, Lenny. Of course I did, Joey. They paid me good money. And that's all I care about now. 
I can live in this house with my family and not have to worry anymore. It's time for you to grow up, man. Maybe some of us don't deserve to. What you see before you is a broken man. A man who cannot tell the difference between his searing tears and the stinging rain. A man who is both defined and defied by his actions and friends. A man who has nothing. A man who is nothing. What you see before you is what used to be. A silhouette of a memory. A brief reprise in a sea of ambivalence. A beautiful song playing out of a cheap speaker. That is all I, Joey Canzetti, am. <laughs>